All right. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening to wherever you are. Welcome to BW Flight Simulation. We're going to be doing a flight here from Sacramento over to Las Vegas. Uh, so I'm going to get everything set up here, and we'll get everything loaded and get ready to go. 126.2 fuel. 9.6. Ten thirty seven on arrival. I'm gonna go ten point five on the fuel. It seems a little low. I'll go back into the sim here, let it load. And I do need to fix uh, I need to fix this up here. Let's let's unlock that. Let's kinda of bring this down. I don't wanna see that white bar. So right there looks good. Showing 16.1, that's a little bit too much fuel, so we'll go into the manager here, and we want to do fuel. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna say 11. 10 point, 10 thousand is just to me doesn't seem like it's enough. And then we had 126.2 for the zero fuel weight. It's going to do that update again. Okay, payload 126.2. We'll go with that. Southwest 66. Eight. What? Oh, uh, I see. SWA. Actually, it only wants a two letter identifier. Okay. What? There we go. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Planned departure date is going to be 04. Origin is going to be SMF. Destination is Las Vegas. 1950Z. And route time. One hour, one minute. Zero, let's go. I think it's zero one zero one. It's the way it wants it. Yep. <coughs> Fuel on board, current time. Alright, so that looks good there. We'll go back to menu. FMC. Oh, man, I hope it's not going to do that. It's because it's updating with the, um, I'm going to stop the auto update. Just hopefully it'll, it'll stay with it. That's right, buddy. What's up, Mike? Doggone right. ASMF. Oh, this dog. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Happy New Year. Hold on. I'll be right back.
Alright, we'll see how far I can get without this puppy bug bugging me here. Alright, put that in there. We're going to Las Vegas. So that, why is it doing that? It's like two minutes behind. Is this thing not talking? Let's see. It's behind. Let's see what it does here. Still behind. If you guys know a reason why it's doing that and you use the FS real time, let me know because it should be keeping up with the time. Twenty six two, so that's right. Fuel ten seventy nine. Da 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 da. Actually, I'll Okay, that's fine. Complete. Airport search. Let's go back. That's not what I wanted. You can't go previous. Oh, that's going to be annoying. There we go. Runway is 16 right. No intersection. Conditions are dry now. Uh, let's pull up the weather. I got a feeling it's going to keep on doing that. And bring up the keyboard. Winds are zero zero. Oop, too many zeros. At f oh, winds are calm. Q and H three zero four two. Oh my goodness, that's going to annoy me. Ah, uh, that's not what I want to do. Don't do that yet. Flaps, Optimum, Aircraft Config, AC is going to be on. Anti-ice is off. CG is 19.7. What am I missing here? Dry, SMF, 16 right. There's no winds. Takeoff weight 137, 179. Why is it not calculating? Oh, let's do uh, takeoff derated. There we go. 136, 137. Trims 5.7. All right, let's keep that stuff there. Let's go to the company route. I don't like how it's doing that. I'm going to close this. And the time is off. It's not keeping the time. So what the heck is going on? I've never had that problem where it won't keep the time like that. It's kind of weird. Okay, we'll request the flight plan.
flight plan is ready to uplink. We'll go ahead and load it. And go ahead and activate it. Southwest 66 68 runway 16 right. Climb. We need to go to departure. We need to choose a departure. Sack Town 2. 1 6 right. Flight plan. Dosco Coldell. Alright, let's pull up our Navigraph charts here. Where are they at? That's in there. ASMF. Alright, departure SID, SAC Town, Dosco Ham Kino. Alright, so the transition is not in there. We're just going to do. Wait, what was Makus? What was Makus? That was up. No, we don't want to go that way. Rayleigh? No, we don't want to go that way. I'm going to go with Kino. Dosco, let's go back here. So Dosco, Ham, Kino. Hey, what's up, seat back pocket? My hometown as well. Right here in Elk Grove. Dosco Coldell. Sunset arrival. Do it from Beatty. And we'll go back. ILS 26 left. Take it from Prino. Alright, cool. Perfect knit. Let's actually just put, we can push it. Let's see if it takes it. Oh, you're in Roseville. Oh, that's cool. You're not too far. We're just about neighbors. One twenty six two six point eight forty cost that looks that looks all good. We go ahead and accept that. Twenty six six point eight forty wins. Let's see our cruise wins. Two fifty at one ten. Doing a takeoff temperature of 47 degrees. Flaps are five. CG's 19.7, so which it's taken from there. Five point. It says 5.7. This is showing 5.31. Uh, we're looking at 136, 137, 136. 137 and 143 looks good there insufficient fuel that's fine what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here 6.8 it's gonna keep on saying that until we get airborne it's 2,000 pounds yeah no it's gonna be it's gonna be more than that all right 
That looks good to me. Hold on real quick. All right, so we were looking for 137. Was it 140? Actually, let's go back here. 143 is what we're looking for. Let's get all this set up now. get this in standby. We'll actually put a code in here. Just in LA is up. 3210 just to have a code in there. We'll have the weather radar ready to go. We're not going to do a HUD departure today. The weather's clearing up here so we should be good. Throw this in runway heading. About 169, 168. That looks good there. Set up the engine so we can see them that they are there. We're going to go ahead and put this FMS mode into climb. So I can see there. Parking brake's going to be set. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the chocks. If I don't get rid of the chocks, it won't let me push back. So we'll pull the chocks. That's good there. Progress. Put that back there. Go back to the outside view. Kind of look around and see what we got here. We got the door open, but the jetway is actually up to it. We'll go ahead and let's close it. Let's retract the jetway. <laughs> you can see how it sinks in the ground here at SAC. That's going away. We'll go ahead and get the anti-collision on. Yeah, this is a P3D. It, the uh, scenery is from Aerosoft, uh, but it hasn't been updated. You're going to see some issues that I have with the ground bleeding through the runways and taxiways. You'll see that as we get out of here. So we'll get that going here in just a second. Let's go to overhead really quick. Just kind of go through it. Bumps are coming on. That's fine there. Standby power. They're good. There. Call button works. Good there. Pedo static we won't do yet. We'll get the electronic pucks on. Flight level 330 is our altitude. I want to say it's tw it's like 1250 I think is the landing altitude there. We'll check that as we get airborne. Everything else looks good here. We can call for we can call for our pushback. Yeah, it's the old version three for Sacramento. Nineteen fifty one. It's keeping up nicely. Let's try, I'm going to try this again. Let's see if it's going to work. FS real time. Hello, We're ready for pushback. All right. That's fine. Let's see what it does here. Let's see if it's going to keep up. See how this works out. Okay, parking brakes release, clear to push. And we're going to want the nose to the right. Okay, plane is pushing back. We'll go ahead and turn off the packs. 
go ahead and start the right engine. At 20% we'll go fuel on. As we're backing up here, let's go to 5.31 units of trim. Let's get right about there. There's 20% fuels coming on. Let's see which one is it. You can see that view is better. We got light up. I heard the starter disconnect. Starter has disconnect. We start the left. Parking brakes are set. Clear to disconnect. Wait for 20%. 20% fuels on. Okay, we got two good engines running. We'll go ahead and switch this to continuous. Back on the overheads, we'll go to the generators. We'll switch over to power generator one. Packs will come back on. APU bleed is coming off if I can get the switch. We'll go ahead and turn off the APU. Usually I use the HUD on departure, this, today I'm not going to use it. The weather's fine. We'll set flaps to 5. There's 5 there. There's our wave off. Hasta la vista, we'll see you. We'll go ahead and go taxi light on. We'll go to one six, uh, one six right after these fools move. Once they move, I'll start the clock. That's one thing that's irritating is these guys take forever to move. I mean, what takes you so what takes you so long to move? Get the heck out of the way. All right, here we go. Brakes are released. And let's start our taxi. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Alright, continue our taxi. We'll go ahead and start the clock. Come on, get it over the right spot. Check our speed brakes. They come up. Rudder.
This aircraft has got the new LED lights on it, which are pretty damn cool. They don't have the older version on them. They've got the new version, which are really cool. I think they look better. So as we taxi here with this scenery, you're going to be able to see the bleed through from the ground textures. A lot of shimmering too, you can see off to the left is shimmering. And if I'm right, if I remember right, it gets cut off over here, the run-up area for runway 16 right. Usually this hole, there's a big area right down here at the end of the runway that they use for a run-up. I think it's covered up by the Orbix. Something changed in Orbix where I'm starting to get all the, the ground textures bleeding through or whatnot. Something they've changed and I don't know what it is. Uh, it looks like we have all of it. So whatever I did, I might have fixed it. But I wish they would update it for version 4. So the run-up does, does look right. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take the runway. So we're going to go ahead and get the runway lights on. The wheel's not running away. You see how that did that? See there's right there through the ground there. You can see it bleeding through. Alright, this will be a rolling takeoff. Get the throttles up to 50%. Look good. Toga. Airspeed's alive. There's 80 knots with the throttle hold. Looking for V1. V1, rotate, positive rate, gears coming up, and we're starting our left turn to join the departure as we're climbing, flaps to one. Alright, we are on the Sacktown departure. Uh, flaps can come up, gears up and off. Wow, what is this? Yeah, we'll just never seen that before whatever okay we're climbing to 9,000 well, actually we're just gonna climb up to 33 there's no air traffic control on come over to the right a little bit here rejoin the departure towards Sacktown Looks good there.
Do this 250 knots below 10,000 feet. We'll keep an eye on that. Flight level 330. We can turn off these. There's Sack Town, start making a left turn. Bring back the speed a little bit here. Making our turn over Sack Town. Straighten out on the heading. Got a zero nine, zero eight nine zero nine zero heading. Well, we're going a little faster. We're bringing back the throttles. Slowing our climb down. Brakes can come off. 8,000 feet. I'm going to go ahead and go autopilot, LNAV, VNAV. It didn't do it again. Damn this thing. At a 10,000 feet, that means lights can come off. Engine and the switches can go to off. <laughs> yeah, you dodo, you forgot those. You're good there. All right, we're making our climb up to 33,000. Our climb will slow down a little bit as we pick up speed here. We'll go ahead and bring the engine indications here so they're not down here at the bottom anymore. 25.8 is Los Angeles, which we'll be talking to them, to them soon enough. Alright, we've hit our speed, now we're going to start picking up our climb rate. I'll be doing some uh, air traffic control today as well, streaming at Oakland Center. So I'll be doing that later on today.
Alright, this is where I need to see this routing here because Standard altimeter above 80, flight level 180. We go weather radar on this side. We can bring the weather radar uh, traffic. All right, we're going to go direct Coldell. Give ourselves a little bit of a shortcut. What the hell? Alright, that was interesting. That was like the lowest plane I've seen fly over our house. We're in El Grove and we have two airports that are really close to us. Uh, the first one is, is Mather and the second one is Executive. And I think that one came from Executive. But it was low. It was a biz jet.
Sorry about that guys, I did not know I was muted. I must have pushed a button and muted myself. Thousand feet to go, we're coming up on 32.7 for 33. Uh, we're listening to LA Center. We've got a little while to go before we'll talk to, talk to him. 3.7 on the rival field, there's no way we're gonna have that. We're gonna have less than that. We'll see what it says. It's saying... Okay, our altitude should have been... For some reason it didn't take it. Okay, 33,000. Should have taken it as 33, I don't know why. So we're level off there. It says 3.7, so we'll see what happens here. Triple 1.5, 259 is a heading for the runway in Vegas. We'll dial that up now so we don't have to worry about it. Get that all set up. Two fifty nine is good. One triple one point five. Triple one point five on the radios. We'll dial that up twice. This will be a non HUD approach in the Vegas. Alright, we're set up for there. We'll probably do a flaps 30. We'll wait till we get a little bit closer to set that up. But we'll do a flaps 30. <gasps> yeah, 
Isabella. Man, you're giving me a hard time today. Are you trying to make me cry? Are you? Man, girl, you're non-stop. I love having you around now. You are awesome. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, there's some traffic. Where's that traffic at? Where's that window at? He's out there somewhere. Where? I saw him on here. Where is he? He's right across from me here. Yeah, he's too far away. I'm not going to be able to see him. He's too far away. Alright. Top of climb. Winds 250 at 110. Oh. Pretty close. Pretty close on the winds. I don't know. I don't know if Simbrief takes into account that they're taking probably the real weather. And they're not taking it from. Uh, they're not taking it from Active Sky unless you can tell it to take it from Active Sky. I don't. I don't really know if you can or not. Honestly, don't know how that works. How is Simbrief? I just started using the Simbrief before I was using their Aerosoft. Uh, PFPX flight planning software, but I decided to switch over. I got a friend that flies from Southwest, and he said that the format, the flight plan por format, is the real format that Southwest uses, and the numbers are pretty dead on. So, I don't know if you can tell it to read the weather and winds from Active Sky or not. I'll have to look more into it. Not too familiar with it. Still learning the ins and outs. Let's see who that traffic is. We've got an American, we've got a Rouge. He's at 30. 35. That must be the Rouge. Part of Air Canada, eh? Yeah, this is uh, Nick Reed, really good controller. Let's pull up the old trusty Navigraph. So when we get down to LIDAT, we'll give Center a call. Looking for that Rouge to come in play here pretty soon. We should be able to see his contrail. Isabella, did you uh, did you end up flying any the cargo flight? Did you end up doing any flying? Oh, you didn't decide not to do it, huh? I know sometimes you get in that mood and you just want to fly and then you you think about all the stuff you have to do in order to fly and sometimes it's just kind of like uh never mind yeah 
those the long hauls are they're hard to do it's no joke you really got to be into doing them you really got to be into doing them I'm trying to see if I can find that rouge she's at 2,000 feet above us it should be coming into play here soon Yeah, it's better if you do a long haul and you fly with somebody. Like what we did. That was fun. It's just, my long hauls now are pretty much across the United States. This is, I haven't, or something into Mexico or the Caribbean or something. Ah, there's my call. Los Angeles Center, Southwest 66, 68's with you, level 5, level 3, tree 0. Seven one four two Southwest sixty six sixty eight. Seven one four two. Three one room you're up to where you parked on the field today, sir. That plane's right above me now. Where is he? He's directly above me. There he is. There's the rouge. Awesome. Freaking awesome. You can tell the rouge tell. Right to 270 for traffic. Southwest uh, 68, 6668. Right to 270. 270, holy crap. Yeah, it's, it's better if you can fly with somebody. Flying long hauls is not easy. I wonder why he put me on a 270 heading. He could have put me on a 180 heading. Confirm the heading for Southwest 6668 270. 6668 turn right heading 070. Continue right turn heading 070, Southwest 6068. 6668. So I'll just continue that turn to 070. 070. That's going to kind of kill our arrival fuel. Auto brakes to mm. that kind of killed me. I think a 180 heading would have been a lot better. And then I want to turn myself back to to the left. Right turn direct Beatty and the remainder of the sunset arrival for Southwest 6668. Alright. So we'll go direct Beatty. And we're going to go ahead and continue that turn.
basically just made me do a 360. I think a, a good 180, uh, 180 heading and then brought me back in. It's all right. It's all good. Nick knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's uh, Nick Nick Reed. He's a really good controller. Yeah, we have really good controllers at Oakland and ZLA. They really know their stuff. A long time ago, and I mean a long time ago, I went down in L.A. They usually have a, a dinner, a meet-up, meet-and-greet kind of thing. And I went down there and met a lot of the uh, controllers back in the day. It was fun times. We had a good time. Where do they go? They go to the um, the Proud Bird, which is right there at LAX Airport. So you can sit there, eat dinner, and watch the planes land on the two fives. He's usually on a lot. He lives up here in Sacramento as well. Yeah, Nick knows his stuff. I've known Nick for a while. I've known Nick Warren since 1996. We met uh, We met back in the day when it used to be SATCO. And he told me he lived up here. And he said, hey, I can get us into, uh, back in the day, it was uh, SAC approach. It wasn't NorCal. So I drove up. I drove up here from the Bay Area, met him, and we've been friends ever since. Yeah, I control as well. I controlled last night. I streamed it last night. I was on her, and I'm probably gonna do some uh, controlling later on today as well. So I, I will be here as well. My wife's not at home, so I can play. I can do all the streaming I want. Because I'm the man of the house. Just until she gets back. <laughs> just until she gets back. Yep. I've been I've been a controller here on Vatsim and Satco since ninety six. I haven't been anywhere else. I love the airspace. It's actually a huge airspace. I wish we had more control of the oceanic stuff. What gate are we parking at for Southwest? 66, 68. We are parking B12. Three zero three three. The altimeter fuzzy at maintain one six thousand southwest sixty six sixty eight. Three zero three three. On the altimeter, we'll come over here and bring it up over here. Put it in the standby mode. Three zero three three. So when we get below eighteen thousand feet, it's already in there. Come on. Boom. We're ready. Yeah, it, it, there's a lot to it. 
Uh, to become a controller, they actually, I mean, they almost put you through the same stuff you would as a real world controller. You gotta learn all the airspace. It's just a lot to learn. I remember when I first started doing it way back in the day, I was like, what the heck? But I got to, you know, listening to everything and having scanners and listening, you know, to what the controllers are saying and everything. It was actually a, it was a big help. Well, it's another big help as well is if you're a private pilot or you know any kind of pilot that kind of helps you as well because you kind of know the area, the airspace, and what to expect. So that's also a big plus to help you out. Okay, I'll be right here. Okay, we're getting close to top of descent here. We'll bring up the trusty FMS. Top of descent's in 40 miles. We're supposed to land with 3.7. I think we're going to be less than that since we had to do a 360 for traffic. Uh, but I think we'll be okay as long as we don't have to be vectored around a lot again. We should be fine. A seat back pocket. I just saw that you uh, you followed. Thanks so much for the follow. For some reason, maybe I missed it. Make sure that wasn't me. My uh, widgets are not working. So let me let me see what's going on here. Yeah, it's showing up. Oh, okay, gotcha. Maybe I maybe I didn't do it because I wasn't on yet. That's kind of weird. Because they're they're showing that they're working. So all right. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. I know what I wanted to see really quick before we start our descent. Field elevation. Oh, 2181. I'm way off. That's all right. That's an easy fix. Alright, cool. So we are set. 23 miles top of descent. Beautiful. Oh, everything works out great. Yeah, I've, I've known Moose for a little while too. He's down in, uh, he's not that far from me. He's down in Fresno. So we can almost say we're kind of neighbors too. I mean, it's a four hour drive from Sacramento, but that's still close. Standard right now for Hawaiian 31. 
flying 31. Okay, no worries at all. Probably due to the high pressure in the, in the vicinity of the airspace, so uh, it's no worries. I'll just I'll mark that as the uh, level 280 on uh, on our end. Let's go. One Let's see, do they have, they do have the ATIS up, 132.4. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it up over here. Charlie. Yep. Apple's there off of, um, it's not, El what is it? Yeah, it's El Grove Boulevard. It's off of El Grove Boulevard on the 5 side. I live on the, I live on the, uh, 99 side. I'm, I'm at, uh, Sheldon. I'm off of Sheldon. I'm in between 99 and El Grove Florin Road. I'm in between there. Right off of Sheldon. Been here, moved, moved from the Bay Area. I actually moved from Redwood City. And the wife and I moved up here with the kids in 2000, to late 2001. So we've been here since 2001. Would never go back to the Bay Area. Never ever. Oh yeah, that's why we left. I mean, we had good jobs in the Bay Area, but it just we just couldn't afford to buy a home there. So we decided, you know what, we can move up to Sacramento and own a home and still be okay. So that's what we decided to do. We've been here ever since. I love it. Still got family down the Bay Area, so we go down there for Christmas and whatnot. And, but uh, yeah, I don't miss it whatsoever. Gr I was grown. I was grown. I was born and raised there. I was born and uh, raised in Santa Clara. So I went to high school there. So glad to be up here in Sacramento. Southwest 6668 is leaving flight level 330 for 16000. Southwest 6668, Roger, the Las Vegas down 7033. 3033, Roger. Yeah, just the, the homes and everything in the Bay Area are ridiculous. But unfortunately, that's where all the money's at, too. I remember growing up there, and it wasn't Silicon Valley yet, but when it started, you noticed all these computer companies coming in and whatnot, and it was, it was crazy. Like going down there, like I go to the Niner game or something like that, and just going down there and how much it's all changed. But it's just so much different now than what it used to be. Look at that wing flex. Awesome. Freaking awesome. This was supposed to be on position. I like it on position. That was 4360. Just let Sync up our heading here.
Oops. Ah. Leave it there until I get this thing fixed. This seems like it's too bright. We have Charlie descend via sunset. Expect the visual approach two six left southwest sixty six sixty eight. All right, planning on the visual runway two six left. We got it. We're going to B twelve when we land. Let's see where that's at here. So B twelve. We want to look at the gates. B12? Really? No. Did they move to the B terminal? Oh, uh, okay. B12. So below 18,000 feet, out number 3033. 
Sun John 352, Los Angeles Center. Hello, climbing maintain plausible 330 for traffic. Actually, Sun John 352, this will work better. Climbing maintain plausible 350, but expedite your climb through plausible 310 for traffic. Okay, climb maintain plausible 350, but expedite through. Los Angeles Center, hello, Pod and Team, Pod level 310 for traffic, expect Pod level 370 in five minutes. Pod oh, 310 for traffic, we'll collect like that. Ridge 1896 to 1810, 6,000, Las Vegas Airport, coming up off your left hand side in 6 miles. Please start again for Ridge 1896. Ridge 1896 to 1810, 6,000, the airport is coming up off your left hand side in 6 miles, advise when you have it in sight. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get my lights on now. Engine switches to continuous. Conditions are dry. Let's bring up the keyboard. Nine thousand southwest sixty six sixty eight. Uh, winds are zero four zero at six. Zero four zero diagonal zero six. Outside air temperature is fifty five. Q and H three And he said nine or thousand. Flaps will go thirty. AC will be on, anti-ice off. Go ahead and hide the keyboard. Calculate that. We're looking for 
Two six left. One fifty nine will be our final final approach speed. Let's go to our FMC. You know what I didn't do? I forgot to put the winds in here. Drag as required, which is fine. Something happened there, didn't work. Calculate that. Show takeoff data. Send output. Alright, I'm surrounded by dogs right now. Okay, you guys go lay down until I get done here. Go lay down. I'll get you food here in a second. Go lay down. Got another D cell coming up here. In Los Angeles Center, Alaska, 1386, uh, with you at uh, 390. There's Las Vegas Airport. Alaska, 1386, uh, identify. Let's see if we can see the traffic on final. for the traffic out here. I wonder if he was talking about for Vegas. Down to 6,000, we have a visual on the airport, southwest 6668. Okay, no, no greater than t one zero miles, and uh, we'll start we'll start our turn here shortly for the visual approach on way two six left southwest sixty six sixty eight. All right, let's do this. We're going to start slowing it now, so I'm going to take over on the speed. Two hundred. We're going to go ahead and start. Actually, we can do it now. Flaps going to five. Let me see what I got out here at the window because I know there's traffic on final. I don't see the traffic. No more than a one zero mile final. Prino is 21. Larry Shand is one zero mile final. I'm going to bring it down to 190. All right, I'm taking the plane. Manually taking it over. There is a, a little bit of a difference on this plane compared to the NGX. 
the way it handles is a little bit different I've noticed Start turning the file right here. Flaps are coming down. Gear is coming down. Flaps 15. Speed 170. One forty six. Copy the winds, 26 left, clear to land, southwest 6668. Fairway 324, winds 0, 4, 0, 6, Flaps going to 25. I'll go ahead and take the throttles now. Still a little high. Correcting. Gears down. Speed rig, see the fuel. It's because I uh, uh, had to do one. that 360 there. So the fuel is going to be a little low there. I can tell you what, I can't go around. So this has to be, I have to land. We got one more notch of flaps to go. Still looking good. 1000's check. Ah, it's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Last notch of flops coming in. I'm moving all over the place. But I don't show any live winds. There's two planes taxiing to the runway. Okay, it's coming back. Yeah, I see the traffic on the runways. We're good. One red. Two red, two white. Last knots of flops are in. Down. 
Thrust reversers kicked in. I'll take the next one here. Not bad, huh? I'll take it. Okay, we're uh, Alpha 6, cross runway 26 right to our gate, Bravo 12, uh, Southwest 6668. Crossing the runway now. I'm hurrying. The steering on here is still kind of weird. I got to play around with it in uh, FSU IPC. Clear 26 right, Southwest 6668. See, it's still kind of weird. I got to still kind of mess with it a little bit. Still a little sticky. It's kind of weird. Alright, let's go ahead and turn off what we don't need. Let's turn on the taxi. These can come off. Anti collision goes steady. Come on. Uh, we're going to take this one right here. You see how that steering is kind of weird there? I gotta figure out why. Why, Isabella, why? Still kind of weird. I'll have to, if you can, and if you want to, if you can send, send, me, send me what your settings look like in FSU IPC. Bravo 12. Oh, wow. That was a good guess. I didn't, it wasn't really. Come on. Whoa, see the steering? It's weird. See how it steers? That's just weird. I wanted to show you that. Still acting weird. It moves on the ground really well, but it just, I don't know, it's just weird. Maybe it's just me. It just feels weird. That's funny. Clear, direct, yellow, yellow. Come on, a little bit more, come on. We're going to stop it right there. All right. Let's get in here. Brakes are set. We're going to go ground power here because this will be my ending flight here for right now. Uh, that's because I took that. Uh, I'm waiting for the ground power unit to show up. So I can go ahead and shut down the engines. There it is there. We'll go ahead and shut down the right. Come on, you guys are taking forever. We don't have forever. Let's go.
Come on, people. There we go. Left I can shut down the right engine now. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome to Las Wages. Oh, you know what? The jetway is not going to work because I had an error. All right, that's good enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for joining me on this flight from uh, Sacramento to Las Vegas. I'll be back later on, probably going to do some air traffic controlling on here. I'll be streaming it. I appreciate the follows, appreciate the support that I always get, and hope to see you guys on the next BW Flight Simulation stream. Everybody have a great rest of your afternoon. I'll see you guys after a while. B-Dub's out.